Welcome to LeapFrog BI Academy course BD120. This is the second video where we will be creating another data flow diagram for our sample data model that was created in course BD110, which was Dimensional Modeling Introduction. So let's get started. As a quick review, this is the simple data model that we're currently uh, creating a data flow diagram for. We've already tackled the product dimension in the first video of this course. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the promotion dimension. All we're trying to do with this dimension is provide a list uh, of promotions and their attributes. So let's jump over to the source once again and see if we can quickly figure out where this data is going to come from. Um, what I'm going to do here is, first of all, take a look at our sales detail, which is here. And I uh, notice that I have a key right here that goes straight to a special offer ID. That's going to be our promotion information. We're just renaming it to promotion. So I'm going to come up here and quickly create a diagram so I can get an idea of um, exactly how we're going to relate this data to our facts. Uh, let's see here. We'll take that one. And so from sales order detail, I'm going to add related tables to that. Arrange this. So we have our header. We're not concerned about that right now, but here we have our special offer product, which is uh, nothing more than a little mapping table between special offer and product. So that's not really going to get us what we need. I'm going to go ahead and add related tables to that and arrange once again. So here's our special offer product. And that gets us to special offer. And that's on a key special offer ID. So this looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. We'll come straight off of our sales order detail where we have a special offer ID. The combination of the special offer ID and the product ID gets us to the special offer product. And then the special offer ID then gets us to the special offer table. We actually don't even need to deal with this table. We can go straight from our product, uh, our sale, to our special offer. This makes it even nicer is that uh, our dimension is actually going to have the same dimension key as our source system's primary key, special offer ID. So that's going to make things quite simple. And we have a modified date once again. So let's knock this out really quick. I'm going to add a new sheet to our data flow diagram, call it DM Promotion. I'm going to drag in our uh, design pattern for dimensions. Zoom this in a little bit so we can actually read something. There we go. And uh, let's start setting up our shape data. First of all, these first three. I'm going to name the same as my source systems uh, table name. So let's update that. It's called uh, special offer. I'm going to go ahead and take care of all the names while I'm at it. This DS, again, is a dimension source. And at this point, I'm going to name these components after the dimension that they're feeding. Promotion, dimension aggregation, once again, we're just aggregating our data so that it's at the right grain to actually load our dimension. Okay, and finally, that was our dimension. Last one here is a dimension update load status. And this is where we're going to um, update our PSA to mark the records that have been processed. All right, we're almost done. So special offer here in our profile. Let's just make sure that looks okay. Uh, one thing we want to do is set the modified date to be the field we're going to set up our incremental load on. So that's all set. Our stage component, pretty simple. We're just going to move data from the source system to our destination, trunking and loading every time we execute. So that looks like it's just fine. Here are our PSA. This is where we're going to consolidate. So let's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, let's uh, take care of this field name here. That looks good. 
and then our DS, this is where we're going to select records from PSA that have not been processed. So we've got a dimension load status equal to zero. That's fine. Now our DA, uh, once again, we don't even need this because our source system has a primary key as a special offer ID, and our dimension is going to have a dimension key of special offer ID. So we know that we're not going to be receiving two versions of a special offer ID um, with the exact same modified date. They would have to be modified and we collect it and get a second version. So we're safe to remove the DA. Um, that's good. Promotion here uh, in our dimension update load status. Once again, this is going to update PSA. I think that looks fine as well. Last thing I want to do here is set up my connections. AdventureWorks here. We're going to just follow our simple standard here where we're actually going to create connections for each component type. And whenever we're building these connections in LeapFrog BI, they will um, they'll be setting up schemas and uh, databases. But we don't need to worry ourselves with that too much at this point. That's going to be our data warehouse connection, and this will be back in our PSA. Okay, so just like that, we're all set to, we have uh, created our data flow diagram for DIM promotion. It's um, just about as straightforward as you can possibly get. Our dimension has the same key, our dimension has a dimension key, which is the same as our source system's primary key, which which uh, made it so that we don't have to worry about our aggregation. We know we're getting things at the right grain. And LeapFrog BI will make, make sure that things are loaded chronologically. The rest is, is uh, pretty much exactly as our design pattern um, already has laid out for us. We're going to stage the data, consolidate the data. Then we're going to extract the unprocessed records, load those into our promotion dimension. And then we're going to update our PSA to mark those records as being processed. Okay, that's it. We'll see you in the next video where we are going to tackle our dim location.